Coming up next on The Jeff Curley Show, you'll meet a high-end designer who wants to be taken for granted. We'll explain next. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Crilly, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is the Jeff Crilly Show. Well, have you ever gone to an upscale home and just been jaw-dropping, struck by the countertop? I mean, sometimes picking out just the right stone can completely change the look of a room or in some cases an entire house. And when these luxury home builders are looking for just the right stone, they turn to my next guest, Fran Delafield. She's with Allied Gallery. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you, Jeff. Absolutely. Well, first of all, I love, I mean, you, you, you walk your talk because you look like a designer. That is fabulous. Oh, well, thank you. I'm not a interior designer, but I like to think that I'm a stone designer. So yes, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. Well, be before we show your work, I want you to um, tell us a little bit about your history. How did you find yourself here? I've always liked design and I've, I've always enjoyed watching interior designers pull something together. You know, so many people have different tastes and stuff like that. And I just find it fascinating that, um, uh, you know, just the different elements and textures that you can pull together to make a house beautiful. Yes. And so I followed that dream and ended up in, in the stone business. Okay, so how, tell me more about Allied Gallery. Uh, you guys are, you seem like a huge company. I noticed that you have locations in Austin, Dallas, Houston, Durant, Oklahoma. I mean, it's, it's become a big company. We have. We started off small in Durant um, about 20 years ago. And really, we just um, sold slabs. Um, and then it kind of morphed into fabrication and installation. And then we uh, ended up with, like you said, all the different locations that we have now. Well, I want to pull up the gallery page of your website so you can brag about your team. You didn't work on each one of these projects, but as we scroll down, to talk about you know the dream team that you've assembled. The dream team, I, and I could not do anything without them. Um, we have a, once I receive a job from a, either a designer or a builder, it goes into a customer support. And they are a great team, and they really are the bones, uh, the backbone behind um, making these jobs uh, get installed correctly. And we have a template department, a production and planning department, and, um, and in fabrication, that's the production department. And, uh, of course, the installers. Wow. So, yeah, there's a lot of elements into to installing countertops. And you're very much an artist, aren't you? Like when, when a homeowner comes to you for the first time and says, Fran, this is what I'm thinking, um, are you able to, you know, go to Mars and back again and say, oh, my goodness, I know exactly what this room needs? Absolutely. Um, you know, sometimes my tastes aren't necessarily theirs, but, you know, that's kind of the, the fun part about it. Um, I, I think natural stone is uh, artwork mm. and, and light artwork. Um, people have different tastes. You know, some people might be an Ansel Adams and then some people might be a Picasso. So the Ansel Adams would be more of the monochromatic, you know, some of the lighter color stones or even quartz. Um, and then the Picassos obviously are some of those beautiful, colorful stones that are coming back in style now. Absolutely, and are you always like a, a detective in search of the perfect stone? Oh yes, and you know, there's so many stones out there that you find absolutely beautiful. You may not want them in your home, but you just sit there in awe of, my goodness, this came out of the earth. It's gorgeous. Mm, that's that's so, so awesome. We're going to uh, pull up a video. Now, this video was shot some uh, 10 years plus ago, and I want you to kind of talk about what we're, what we're watching. Well, there, there's some of our CNC equipment that's going in, um, our, our outdoor slab yard, which is now we're um, building another location up in Durant, so it's an indoor slab yard. Um, we have now morphed into, like you said, several showrooms. So this was just the beginning of uh, Allied Stone, which is now Allied Gallery. Um, and uh, yeah, that's a huge facility that 20 years ago, it's amazing that we've come this far. 
And just um, to talk a little bit about where the stones come from. I mean, are they sourced uh, in all kinds of countries? Yes, um, Brazil, um, China, South Africa, um, Chile. Uh, there's just a, a, well, Colorado. We have some places here in the United States. And, um, and, and not all home builders are dedicated to the same excellence that you are. Um, I imagine that you're just elevating the entire experience of owning a home. I hope so. Yeah. It's certainly fun. Um, remodeling or building um, a house from the ground up, it's a very daunting experience at times. Um, mm -hmm. You know, especially when you're remodeling, it can be rather intrusive with people coming into your home. Um, but at the end of the day, when everything's put back together yes. um, and the customers are absolutely just in awe of what's transpired, that's, I love that. That's just, that makes my job wonderful. I want you to uh, brag about, you know, a customer story. You don't have to name the customer, but when you think about this is why I do what I do, what customer comes to mind? Um, well, well, I don't want to obviously give names, but yeah. um, when uh, the customer I recently had, they're just... Um, their expressions on their face smiled ear to ear and just, you know, they're having people over and um, just excited to have people there. Sure. So I, I love that. That's, that's what brings everything together. I can tell. Well, your eyes light up when you talk about uh, your, your artwork. <laughs> I found a great article. This, again, was about a decade ago, but I love the headline, uh, taking it <laughs> for granted. <laughs> And as we scroll down this, uh, talk about, you know, your, the, the, the journey and what it's been like to watch this company grow. Um, it's, it's interesting to see how stones actually change over the time. We actually, um, that's kind of changed names and looks a little bit different now. Um, that second photo, that's uh, some of the precious stones that we have. Uh, those are made out of agate, um, sometimes uh, uh, petrified wood, amethyst, and things of that nature, malachite. So, um, and, and so you probably haven't seen some of these images in a long time. I haven't, I haven't. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. Susan, okay. Susan, my friend, helped me with that one. Absolutely. Susan Morrow uh, is an amazing publicist, and she sent us a whole bunch of pictures. Let's go ahead and slowly go through some of these pictures so you can, you can talk about each one. This is um, one of my favorite slabs, and um, I want to find a home for it. Um, it's an Italian name, and please excuse my Texas twang that might mess up this beautiful name, but it's Smeraldo, so, which means emerald in Italian. Uh, I think there's a close-up photo of that, and it's just, there's hints of purple in there um, and sparkling greens. It's just, it's an amazing looking stone. This is Blue Louise, it's a quartzite, another. The, this picture doesn't even do it justice. They're very vibrant colors. And this is called Fantasy Lux. Um, again, it has deep purples and blacks and, and cream colors in it, and it's uh, with chunks of quartz that go throughout it. It's just beautiful. This is a robotic saw. It's a mock saw um, sitting on top of some Pat Patagonia. Um, which is a quartz with some granite. The yellow um, chunks of quartz, um, or excuse me, granite, are what make this beautiful. But it's a robotic saw. That's amazing. Yeah. I mean, and, and it's probably, uh, uh, it takes just the right touch to cut a stone perfectly, doesn't it? It do absolutely does. So once it goes through our planning department, it goes through our, um, they program it into the CNC machine and then, um, then it goes into production. Those guys are true artists, so they um, are the ones that do all the edge profiling and, and put everything together, not to mention the installers. Those are pretty. Sure. Well, I know one thing that came from the pandemic is everybody was sitting at home looking at, at, <laughs> at, at, at that old uh, you know, uh, living room or dining room and saying, man, we gotta, we gotta do something and spruce up. But did you notice, did your business tick up during the It October? absolutely did. Um, which was surprising, I think, to the whole industry and uh, in the building industry. Uh, it caused a lot of uh, uh, drawbacks as far as being able to get um, some, whether it's light panels or wood or things sure. of that nature. But yes, it definitely, we had an uptick in business. And you were talking before the show of the variety of kinds of projects you can do, even flooring. Yes. Um, slab flooring, a lot of people, um, especially porcelain, porcelain, we... Um, uh, was really originated to do walls and or flooring, like shower walls. 
Um, it's kind of uh, transitioned into also countertops, but it's primarily for uh, walls and flooring. So if someone wants a full slab of flooring, we can do that. And I saw one of those pictures earlier was a beautiful fireplace. I mean, that can be right. a showstopper Absolutely, too. absolutely. We do a lot of fireplaces out of beautiful stones as well. Wow. Well, we have a couple minutes left. I want to give you a chance to uh, talk to the person out there who's thinking about, man, I think I just found my designer. Uh, what does the engagement look like? Do they contact you through the website or how, what, what, what would the process be? They can call our um, phone number for sure um, or our website. Um, making appointments is best um, so I can have dedicated time with uh, the client. Um, if you have paint samples or or um, stains for your cabinetry or anything that can tile samples, um, that would be absolutely beneficial to be able to have um, your countertops come to fruition. So yeah. being able to look at everything all together. Well, you're amazing. Thank you so much for sharing your journey with us. We're gonna end with her website, which is alliedgallery.com. Fran, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you, Jeff. You bet. That's it for now. We'll see you next time.